Lake Tana has been recognized as UNESCO Biosphere Reserve since 2014. It is home of 37 islands. People residing around Lake Tana use papyrus boat for transportation, which is eco-friendly means of transportation and fishing. Brown Workner has a stay with resident of Bahardar who leads his life by fishing using papyrus boat. Let's take a look. Melkamu Gzacho is a resident of Bada city who leads his life fishing on Lake Tana using papyrus boat. He has 18 years experience on fishing activity. In an exclusive interview with Amhara Media Corporation English Service, Melkamu said the papyrus boat, which is made up of papyrus plant, is an eco-friendly material for the biodiversity of Lake Tana. The service of the papyrus boat is very important for all. It is a chemical-free material, whereas the modern boat, which is consuming fuel, is killing the biodiversity of aquatic life found inside Lake Tana. On the other hand, the papyrus boat does not use fuel, and it only needs manual operation to move people from one place to another. Melkamu said the papyrus boat has many uses on Lake Tana. He said it is used for fishing, for carrying firewood and for transporting people from one area to the other. Do you know Lake Tana is full of natural resources that are very important for human beings? Among these natural resources, the papyrus plant is one. The papyrus plant grows in a marshy or swampy area. And this papyrus plant is very important for making papyrus boat. The papyrus boat is also very important for transporting goods and services from one place to the other place on Lake Tana. Melkamu further stated that the fishing activity is source of income so as to lead the family properly. Basically, papyrus boat is crucial for fishing, for curing grass, firewood and others. Additionally, the boat is used for transporting people from one place to another around the lake. The biodiversity of Lake Tana is being treated by natural and man-made activities. Eco-friendly material should be deployed on Lake Tana so as to sustain and save aquatic life found inside the Lake Tana. Therefore, the papyrus boat, which is made from papyrus plant used for fishing purpose on Lake Tana, must be modernized and used on Lake Tana. I have two kids and I'm leading my life using fishing activity on Lake Tana. It is good for me and I don't ask for support from the government. There are many users who are leading their lives using the papyrus boat. This is only around St. Michael port. There are also other users who are engaged in the sector in other parts of the lake. The biodiversity of Lake Tana is being treated by natural and man-made activities. Eco-friendly materials should be deployed on Lake Tana so as to sustain and save aquatic life found inside the Lake Tana. Therefore, the papyrus boat, which is made from papyrus plant used for fishing purpose on Lake Tana, must be modernized and used on Lake Tana.